Hey everybody, it's Kim O'Daver, Letters and More for the uh, 14th of October 2021. Hey, we're hearing from Foresty Forest, actually one of Foresty Forest's friendlies, Simon, who says in his latest video that uh, he's excited that the borders are reopening and he wants to come down. He's from Canada and apparently uh, they announced just yesterday that uh, they are now going to be reopening the borders pretty much wide open for anybody, but you got to be vaccinated. You got to be vaccinated. So uh, I don't know. Foresty Forest, Slim Potato Head, Van City Van Life, Chrome. Uh, everybody's. I don't. I don't think just incredible. Just incredible is also from Canada. I don't think he got vaxxed, did he? He. <laughs> I don't think he'll be coming down pretty soon. But the others, come on, yeah, come on down, come on down. Let's do some letters, shall we? Old fisherman says black tank problems. We were talking today about, uh, oh, uh, ZenQuest Journey was giving us a funny story about how her black tank got all jammed up. And Okay, I'll tell you. When they cut the hole, you know, put the toilet in, in her our vehicle, uh, they the person who cut the hole uh, let the uh, piece of plastic, I guess, from the floor get into the tank and then didn't take the tank back out and remove it and just left it that way so the tank got, um, <laughs> the tank, the whole thing that, that yeah it could clog the tank up black tank problems must be turds day turds day ah funny there old fisherman patty stewart says maddie van halen should get a content dog you know he does have that stuffed dog he does have a stuffed dog a stuffed content dog you know he doesn't have to worry about taking it to the vet or getting uh, radiation for its thyroid issues or anything you know he's, he's got a guitar you know he's got music you know, he's got his shtick. I think that's good enough for him. Still Kev says, what I learned, bouncing around, bouncing off-road with a full black tank will ruin your axle. Well, we do have a busted axle there for uh, RV Rebel Girl. Uh, I hope she hasn't been uh, off-roading in her trailer there with a full black tank or any tank. I don't know, any weight. Too much weight. You know, too much weight in your vehicle, your trailer, your whatever, that could mess up your axle and your brakes and your suspension, right? That's not to say she did any of that. Oh, no. RS says, why is it that so many of these nomads get so touchy when they have to wait for any type of services from the outside world? It's not like they have a job, but they seem to always be in a hurry to do nothing. <laughs> I'm in a hurry to go nowhere. Right. Yeah, I don't want to sit and wait here for two or three weeks for a part for my vehicle because I'm busy going. Well, they, yeah, whatever. I'm busy on the road, on the road to nowhere. Was that Talking Heads? That's a good song. <laughs> so, no Name says, I've clogged some toilets in my day, but he's never clogged, or they've never clogged a black tank. Hmm. For Mafia is talking about Donna Van Life there. She's, uh, Dave, uh, Dawn does not look like she's sitting in a box truck there. That looks like a house of sticks and bricks. Uh, I thought these nomads hated sticks and bricks. She's hanging out with some friends there. I didn't, I didn't catch where she is, but her, she does have the uh, box truck. And uh, yeah, she wasn't doing the live stream from the box truck, I don't believe. E4 Mafia also says that Rebel Girl uh, doesn't, she also has a van. Yeah, she pulls her trailer with her van, but she uses the trailer as her bedroom, I believe. That's where she's got her bed set up, right? But she could still go to Lollapalooza and leave the trailer there to get the axle put on if it takes longer than a week. And then she could still go to Lollapalooza in her van. I'm sure she could make do with a makeshift bed in the van, right? Oh, uh, yeah. ZenQuest Journey. Thanks, Dave. I just wasted eight minutes of my life listening to her. her. She did. ZenQuest Journey does have somewhat of a, um, let's just say, uh, we should have a, uh, uh, you know, a, a warning, parental guidance warning. She does uh, drop a few uh, bad words, let's just say. But it was very, very funny. Very. She's the Joan Rivers of the 21st century. Steppenwolf says, uh, good morning one and all closed on my Arizona land yesterday. Join me for the party. Wow, everybody's buying land and stuff. Wow, we got, uh, we got, uh, we got, uh, you know, they're all buying land. <laughs> well, your Arizona land, is it adjacent to the Panda property? I don't know. We could have, a, we could have hundreds and hundreds of nomads buying land adjacent to the Panda property, right? I don't know, we could have a real nomad city there.
Hmm. CADV says, sounds like a bad country song. He left his job in Tennessee, and now he's grifting across the country from sea to shine and say, who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? I Pinkerton is also excited that Forresty Forest is coming down south to the States. Finally, great nomad videos. Forresty Forest will be bringing his 4x4 to the U.S. desert. Our borders are opening in November. That's right. As long as you're vaxxed. You're welcome over. Sorry, Justin. Uh, the weather bearer, from, from the looks of it, all these breakdowns and gas prices going through the roof, plus food, it's rather expensive to live the nomad life. It is getting more and more expensive to live the nomad life. That's true. Very, 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 very true. Everybody's going to Lollapalooza, Papa, Texas. The fun thing I have enjoyed at Lollapalooza was arriving at the beginning of the week and staying until Monday. I've been to all three of them so far. All right, don't forget the uh, Camo Day Papa, Texas breakfast, October 30th, so October 23rd. It's going to be some hot tamales and some breakfast burritos. Oh, yeah. Terry Ballard says, I have just hit the five-year mark of full-time RVing, and I am burned out, but I have no idea what comes next. Wow. Uh, I did say that I think five years is a good time to maybe get that out of your system. If you have the wandering gene, the wandering urge, five years of living in your vehicle, traveling around the country in Canada and U.S. and wherever, and then you're kind of like, now what? You know, how many crisscrosses of the country can you do before you kind of want to settle down? I was just saying, five years seems to be a good temporary period to do that. Do you really want to be a nomad your whole rest of your life if you don't have to be? You know, again, some people have to be. They, they can't afford anything else, but anyway. Uh, Go Frugal says you get a slice of land in a zone conductive with a way of life that is uneventful as plausible. As pa plausible, right. So when you do take a trip, it's something special again. Not a fan of big cities or snow and ice. Don't want to be forced into 4WD. Don't care for the hurricane, but usually you get more than a storm. More warning with, that, with those kind of storms. Yeah. You want to make the traveling so that it's interesting and new. With You know, if you're just traveling all the time, it just becomes day after day after day. And if you five years, you know, you get kind of tired of it. I don't know. I don't know. you got to keep it fresh and new, right? Alrighty, here I am back at uh, back at uh, Green Eggs and Jam for a uh, ooh, ooh, checking out some. I got a rec. I got a twenty-five dollar record player today. I actually bought a twenty-five dollar record player today. I'll show it to you in a future episode from my studio. I already have it back there, but I'm just looking around here for some cool um, video. Look at this. I used to have this album. Ah oh, man, these are the dollar albums. I'm gonna have to get a couple bucks. Send me a couple bucks on uh, my PayPal down below and uh, I will buy a few albums here and we'll listen to them together and get copyright strikes on YouTube. <laughs> oh, wow. Christmas greetings from Miss Streisand. That's cool. And friends, Jim, Doris, and Andre. Oh, wow. Ain't that cool? Ain't that cool? Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Letters and more for the uh, 14th of October, 2021. Blog under. Ooh. They just stopped. They were they were doing their thing and then they stopped when I walked by. That was weird. That was really weird, I swear. Ooh. 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 Not for a song. I knocked for a song. I don't hear a song. Maybe I have to knock. I don't see any that. Never mind. Ooh, ooh, scary, 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 yes, beware. <laughs>